Today I'm going to demonstrate how to change a battery in a Game Boy game. I was pretty much planning to change the battery on my Pokemon Crystal and I figured I might as well get the camera going. So the first thing you'll probably need, you'll need a couple things. You'll need that special screwdriver to take the screw out from the back. It's easy to uh, find on Amazon. I'll probably put information uh, on the description below. All you got to do is take the one screw out from the back and take the front panel out. And as you can see, here's the board for the game. You'll also need a battery replacement, which you can also buy on Amazon. They're cheap. They also come in packs. And you'll also need a soldering kit in this case. That's also I got on Amazon. The one I have is very simple. It was only like 15 bucks. It's, it was a simple kit. It has everything you need for something as simple as this. So the first thing you want to do to actually replace the battery is you want to heat the little uh, end liquid points. I don't know what they're even called exactly, but just heat it up. You, you warm up the soldering uh, tool and then just tap on, on the ends to heat it up so it loosens it. And then you just take the battery out. Simple easy day and then obviously what you want to do is have the new battery ready make sure you also put it align it in the right position usually just look at how it is beforehand or in this case how I have it on the video and then what you want to do is then just uh, basically add the new battery in and what you're gonna do is add the solder to the exact same endpoints and usually in the kit you'll have this like little metal string I'm sure there's a name for that too you actually just heat it at the ends kinda like this and you uh, you just kinda cover it up and have it kinda connected in there of course it's a little bit difficult I've got a camera in front of me but just a simple demonstration to give some information for you. Sometimes actually heating what is already there could help. Especially if you can kind of like move it over on top of the panel bits. Uh, otherwise you can just add more to it. You obviously wouldn't want too much. You also don't want to get it onto other things that might mess it up, whatever the connector parts are or whatnot. Obviously you want to have, try to be, have some steady hands. If anything, maybe have your arms resting on something. That always helps. I have done this before a few times. And I know I can do a, a better job, obviously, without something in front of me. But this is just to basically show how, how to do it. It's quite simple. It's easy. I have have done it before I got this soldering kit where I just would, you know, kind of like just take the battery out. Kind of like just sort of unconnect it. You know, not take those um, panels out. Just kind of get the battery to uh, detach. And then I just use like duct tape. It works too. It's not as pretty as this, but it's another way of doing it if you want to go that route. So once it's in there, you just put it back into the case, cover it up, screw it up, and that is pretty much it. Of course, you'll then want to make sure it works. So we're going to go and take a look at that in a moment. FYI, this is a used copy I bought way back in the day. <laughs> Unfortunately, I wish I got a new one, but it was a little sticky in the back, so I kind of DIY'd a plastic covering to cover it. Obviously, even the front's not the greatest, but the game is great. All right, and now we're going to go make sure it's good. One thing you would want to do is obviously start the game. Whatever game it is, because there's other games that obviously use battery as well. You want to go in there, start a new game. And then after that, you save. And the best thing to do is, after you save, 
you turn it off and even take it out. I'm not sure if power is going in to the game when it's connected, even though it was off. Most likely, I don't think so, but in this case, you know, you want to make sure. Just, un you know, take the, the, the game out and then you put it back in. And if your save is there, then congratulations. You have a new battery for your system. And obviously we'll see through this. I'll get through this uh, intro, but we'll double check on that. Of course, something like this where, especially if you played it back in the day, if you still have the original save for these games, for the second gen Game Boy uh, Pokemon games, because uh, because of the day and night cycle, it really did eat up a lot of battery. My save for Pokemon Blue is still there, which is funny, but that didn't have a day and night cycle, so that makes sense. Uh, there is ways where you could probably make sure... No, I don't think there is a way. Well, I was going to say something along the lines of putting another, like, wires on it with a battery to make sure that the power keeps going. I think that might work. Another way is... You know, using some third-party software, take the save out, you know, change the battery and then put the save back in if you can. There are options. There's a way to look up, you know, that kind of information. But now we saved, turned it off, popped it out, and the save is still there. We did it. New battery on a classic game. And that's how you change your battery on a Game Boy game.